I am in Burlington, Vermont. I'm uh, cruising through the downtown. I'm gonna take a quick look as I drive towards the waterfront, which from what I understand is a really nice place. Vermont is the second least populated state in the country after Wyoming. There's only about 643,000 people in the entire state. It's a really beautiful state though. We crossed the state line pretty far south and covered a lot of the state on our way up here to Burlington, which is just a mere 30 miles south of the Canada border. Anyway, it looks real nice. I'm looking forward to exploring the city. I'm at Waterfront Park now. It's really calm and peaceful. It looks lovely. It even looks like the weather might be lovely, but don't be fooled. <laughs> it's cold. We're into the second half of April. It's about, uh, geez, 37 degrees out here right now, and the wind is icy cold. It's not blowing hard, but it's blowing enough to make it uncomfortable. Now, I was on the uh, Burlington Reddit boards yesterday, and you can find out a lot of, about a place by the people who post there. And most people seem to really love it. It's a beautiful town. But you can glean some of the things that they don't like about it. One of them is the weather. Very short summer, very cold uh, winters. Now this is Lake Champlain, by the way. And if you can see the hills there on the other side, that is New York State. According to many of the people who say the city is beautiful and they love living here, also say that housing is very expensive. It's very hard to find a place that you can afford. And also, there are not a lot of high paying jobs in this city, as I understand it from the uh, locals. So you've got high cost of housing, low income jobs, which would create quite a dilemma for many, I would guess. It is a beautiful place though. As I walk along the wharf here, very liberal state, um, very low on crime. I was looking at the numbers, it's one of the lowest crime cities in the U.S. Not a diverse place though, in fact Vermont is the whitest state in the country. 96.3% of the population is white. And uh, the city of Burlington itself, I believe, is the third widest <laughs> in the country. Around 95% white. That's off the top of my head. But it's right around there. Another thing, Bernie Sanders is from here. He was, in fact, mayor of Burlington. He started his political career here. And as you most likely know, he is, he is now a senator for Vermont. I'm in Battery Park now, above Waterfront Park, right down there. That's where I was, but I'm up here now. Again, another nice view of Lake Champlain. That's New York State, like I said earlier, across the uh, water. Looks like they had some uh, parties here last night. Anyway, I want to head up this way. There are some interesting areas, from what I understand, in this direction. This is a statue of William Wells. He was a Brigadier General in the Civil War from here in Vermont. Hmm. Another nice view of the lake. I'm still in Battery Park. I had read that, uh, or seen pictures of a lot of homeless encampments right here. Looks like the city has cleared them out. This is the Beansy bus. It's a food truck. It's, uh, well, it's one of the things Burlington is known for. Believe it or not, it has been here since 1944. 1944. 
that is a long time. It has been dishing out food for people coming to the park here. <laughs> long time, huh? <laughs> I mean, what's that? Let me do my math. 78 years? That's kind of amazing, really. Beansy's bus. Hmm. Anyway, I'm still here in Battery Park. I'm going to head to Church Street next. Some very old houses here. Yeah, and this caught my eye. Skate shop. Yeah, it's um, very much college kid oriented. There is a university and three colleges here in the area. And it's replete with the Bernie sign, as you would probably expect. Vote progressive. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna head into the heart of downtown, Church Street, in this direction. Ran across this old building here. Got a kick out of the sign. The rent is too high, LOL. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm almost to Church Street. It should be interesting. Looks like there's some partying here last night. A lot of trash on the ground. You have to get some of these college students to clean up, huh? <laughs> Still more trash. I'm not sure what this is. It's a fence around it, and I don't see an entry. People are getting inside it, though. You see all the trash. Anyway, that's the area I just was. It's next to the uh, bus stop, so that might explain a lot of the trash. My understanding that this particular area is often filled with unsavory characters. It's quiet this Sunday morning though. So Church Street is right up here. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's called that because of that big church right there. And the street begins right there in front of the church. All right, so this is the church that heads Church Street. This is Church Street, their pride and joy, the economic driver, or monk, one of the economic drivers of the city. It's really nice, pedestrian only. Even this fairly early Sunday morning, there's a few people out. I'm guessing most places are closed. Of course, there's a Ben & Jerry's here. This ice cream company was founded here in Burlington, I think in 76. That's off the top of my head. I'll be honest though, I'm a Texan. And dare I say it, I'm not a big fan of Ben & Jerry's. I mean, the ice cream, they just pile too much stuff in it. You know, all these big chunks of this and that. And it seems to me that there's maybe only 50% ice cream in the container. I don't really care for that. Like I said, I'm Texan and we love our Bluebell. Nothing compares to their uh, chocolate or their French vanilla. Just amazing ice cream. Pure and delicious. Sorry, Ben and Jerry's fans, but Bluebell out of Texas is the better ice cream. Still on my way to the hotel, but I had to take a look at one more site here. This is the world's tallest filing cabinet. Don't know why it's here. But it is. <laughs> There's no point in it. But here it is. Alright. Onward to the hotel.